within the boat race calendar trial is, is vital. Um, it's a, it's a massive learning experience. Um, saw it out there today. You've got crew rowing a little bit better. They start gaining ground. The crew start tightening up and they start losing ground. And it's, it's the only real environment that you, 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 can, you can try and do that in training. And, and to some extent that works. But actually under the pressure of a full on race with everybody watching, you know, other things creep out that, that, that you need to learn from, take confidence from, also learn from and, and you know, help build the arsenal up for uh, tackling Oxford on boat race day. We're trying to look at how Different, different sort of combinations of people, particularly in the sterns of the boats work. Um, but we're also just trying to engineer a, an opportunity to have a really close race because they're just likely to learn more about you know, what this race takes to win if they are kind of in close combat for a long period of time. And particularly on a day like today where the conditions were very challenging. You know, if, they, if they're exposed to lots of that stuff and it's for a long time, they're just going to be able to learn, learn more from it and be more ready for the next time they're racing. Today we want to race on our course, the championship course. Uh, we want to get a, a feeling for how people perform under pressure. We want to see a, we'd like to see a close race between our crews. We'd like to see um, who can take initiative and uh, what combinations might work in our crews. So it's an important race and it, uh, it, it it, it helps progress our season and, and helps get us closer to selecting our top crew. What I expect to see today is confirmation of the women who really are in the mix for seats in the Blue Boat that will race here in April. I also suspect that what, what we'll see is women who are just not really physically or mentally ready for the challenge of racing 6.8 kilometres on a, on a day when an enormous amount of expectation is heaped on their shoulders. And so it's, it's kind of a measure of both. Women who are ready and who are eager to really set a new standard of speed for women's rowing in this country and others who are, are kind of learning what the whole competitive challenge is about. Neither crew will be near our starting lineup because we try and make the crews equal. So we try and um, spread the best rows over the two crews basically. But it helps me figure out what combinations might work and what might lead the boat, who might be able to sit well in the bows or in the middle of the boat. We're looking for good units to work and that helps us push the selection a little bit further. My overall feeling now is, is actually I'm quite, quite pleased because the guys will have learnt a lot from today. You know, everyone put as much as they could in and that was shown in different ways and, and it's a learning experience and I think that's the biggest thing that the guys will take from this. Um, a real understanding of where they are right now and how much they've come on from the start of uh, the, pro the campaign, um, but also where we need to get to. You know, we've got a big, big challenge again this year. You know, Oxford are very, very strong. We know that, um, and we're just taking one day at a time and being very methodical about our approach and our development plan. There isn't one significant thing that came from it. I think there's a, there's a number of good positives that came forward. Uh, I think the team's in good shape physically. I think technically the boats are at a, at a, de a decent level for the time of year. Cox's did a good job, and I think both boats displayed a good sort of tactical nous and savvy about how to handle themselves in this kind of racing. We certainly have a number of women who've performed individually in a way that, that identifies them as contenders for the blue boat, and I would say that without exception, every one of them showed up today, whether she was in the winning crew or the losing crew. And so I think that means that it's going to be a tough selection process.